Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Snyder, Professor of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm going to describe the results of the testosterone trials. The goal of the testosterone trials was to determine if testosterone treatment of older men with low testosterone would be beneficial in any way. We selected men who were over 65 and who had unequivocally low testosterone levels. We treated them with either testosterone or placebo for one year. We studied their blood counts, their cognitive function, their bone density, and the amount of plaque in their coronary arteries. We found that testosterone increased blood count in all of the men and corrected anemia more significantly than did placebo. We found that testosterone increased bone density as measured by quantitative CT scanning. And we found that testosterone did not affect their memory or other cognitive function. And testosterone increased the amount of plaque in their coronary arteries. The major limitation, although by the design, was that because we selected only men over 65 and only men who had low testosterone, that the results apply only to older men and only to older men who have low testosterone concentrations. In addition, because we studied only approximately 800 men, that number is not sufficient to determine the risks of testosterone treatment, either the risk on prostate cancer or the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events. We conclude that testosterone has several benefits, including correction of anemia and increase in bone density. But we do not know yet the risks of this treatment. The next step is a much larger and longer trial to determine if testosterone increases the risk of heart attacks and increases the risk of prostate cancer. And also, if testosterone reduces the risk of fracture. 